wasabi, you guys. I've been given a integral from supposedly uh, from G or G main. And looking at this, this is horrifying. <laughs> okay. Obviously, we can easily tell that this denominator cannot U sub with this. And this is very common. Uh, very common in uh, G main exams like G G mains likes to do this a lot and it's what I call the undertow technique now how did I figure that out I didn't I had to experiment so here let me show you or walk through you like how I kind of uh, solve this integral of course this is nasty this is awkward looking something's something's not right here right and of course we no way in hell we're gonna do partial fractions Okay, so I thought, all right, let's see. What happens if I take, let's say, well, we have a constant here. What if I make, what if I turn this into a constant? To turn this into a constant, I have to take x squared out, which means I would take, oops, I would have to take x to the power of 4 out, pretty much. So x squared out, right, and x squared is being squared. So that's going to give us x to the power of 4, right? And now, taking this out, we get 2x5 plus 1x to the negative 2 squared, okay? Remember that squared makes, uh, makes this squared, so that's why we have x4, okay? Because we factor the x squared out, and now we have x4. This is uh, one of the most mislooked algebra manipulations so don't forget that okay and now with the x4 let me rewrite this now because I'm impatient so with that x4 that x4 can now get divided on top so now dividing x4 we get 5x4 plus 7x squared okay Interesting. Now we have 5x4, but this is 2x5. We're not going anywhere, and this is a negative exponent. Okay. So what now? So, I mean, we can't do anything here as well. So what do we do? Okay, so if that didn't work, we can't turn this to do a constant because that did nothing. Let's turn this into a constant, meaning we would divide x to the power of 7 instead. So coming from here, uh, we'll go ahead and take out x to the power of 5 which would which would take out x to the power of 10 because we have this squared don't forget that so now it's 2 plus x to the negative 5 plus x to the negative 7 squared and then we just divide this uh, divide this on top so let's go ahead and rewrite that okay so dividing we get 2 plus x to the negative 5 plus x to the negative 7. And now that whole x to the power of 10 gets divided on top. So we have, what, x4 minus 10, that's a negative 6. 7x, let's see, 2 minus 10, negative 8. Does that work? Huh. Interesting. Look at that. So... Thankfully, this came out very nice, and Gmain does this a lot. If you ever see an integral that's like rational like this, but it's like you can't do a, a u substitution because it's like awkward, consider undertow technique because they do that shit way too many times. So let's go ahead. If you can see, we let u 2 plus x to the negative 5 plus x to the negative 7. Then du is equal to negative 5 to the power of negative 6. Then minus 7 to the negative 8. Ah, uh, would you look at that? The only difference is that we don't have a negative. And so, be very careful with that. Don't u sub right away. Consider the coefficients. We've seen that our coefficient is negative 1. So we have negative 1. And then we have our du, right? Because dx is this, which what you have except for the negative. And then u square and so this is just one over u and so now our answer is simply 
2 plus x to the power of negative 5 plus x to the power of negative 7 plus c. Okay? So again, if you're studying for g and the key, key uh, one of greatest tips, uh, whenever you stumble a, a kind of a rational function like this where it just looks so god dang awkward, try undertow technique. Okay, you might you might not get it the first try like this, right? You know, to turn this into a constant, right? Okay, that didn't work. Okay, turn this into a constant. Oh, look at that, it worked. Okay, so G means they do that a lot. So uh, consider using undertow technique because they do that way too many goddamn times. <laughs> okay, so yeah, ugly, but thankfully it turns out nicely. Thank you, VJ. Uh, VJ Pranith, I think that's how you pronounce your name, I'm so sorry. Uh, but thank you VJ for suggesting me this integral. Um, thankfully, this wasn't too bad. Thank you for watching, hope that helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video.